What is going on everyone? It is Taco Tuesday! So what better place to go then is uh, the Daily Taco and Cantina here in Thienesville, Wisconsin. I'm gonna go check it out. You guys wanna come with me? All right, let's go. going on everyone so I am here at the daily taco um, pretty loud in here I'm thinking you're gonna hear me okay but just you know throwing that out there so checking out their menu this is a counter service only so while I'm able to get seated I have to actually go up to the bar to do my ordering which not a big deal so let's go ahead and take a look and see what they got here um, obviously they got some tacos some sides um, you know what, I'm gonna look at this a little bit more and uh, go order. Maybe surprise you guys with what I'm getting. So, kind of a nice little place so far here. Really enjoying it. All right guys, I'll be right back. All right, so I placed my order. Uh, I got the Torta of the Week. Uh, it's got chorizo in there with a, like a potato pancake of some sorts. Um, yeah, don't really know what I'm getting, but it looked good online, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then I got uh, beer tacos with beef and uh, no onions. No onions on anything, because that's the way I roll. And a Diet Coke, so. Excited to see um, what comes out. I've heard great things about this place, so pretty excited. All right, guys. All right, so my torta is out. It is the, it's a torta bambazo. Well, like that it's so um as you saw looks amazing they actually dip the bread in, in a sauce as well so pretty excited for this um i'm gonna go ahead and drop some lime in here if they give you lime you got to use lime right so go ahead and in there but that's another another quick view for you guys yeah this looks really really good yeah sneaking suspicion it's going to be messy so good thing i got a fork and napkins. So. All right, let's get into this, huh? Oh wow! Hmm. <laughs> so definitely messy. <laughs> It's almost like um, it's like chorizo juice all over the place here. So go ahead and probably need to go get a wet nap or something. But it's one of those sandwiches where maybe when you start eating it, you don't put it down. No. But man, it's really really good. Now um, I think the meat is cooked perfectly well. The chorizo flavor definitely come out. Um, if there's a um, like a potato patty in here. Um, not really seeing that actually now that I look at it but um, and then there's um, just the bun it's, it's nice and crispy on the outside soft on the inside um, I think the the adding of the, the juices to this thing um, kind of makes it a little bit of a soft too um, like pliable if you will so a little bit harder to eat, I think. Um, everything's just falling right out of it, so. Mm. But I do love that crunch of the bread. Mm. Mm. This is pretty tasty. Again, good thing I got a fork, so I'm gonna finish this up. My tacos should be on the way. Yeah, I'm excited. I saw I was a little mistaken. I thought there was supposed to be like a potato patty of some sort, which seemed very weird to me. And it was weird because it's actually diced potato 
with the chorizo, that's all makes sense. So, um, really, really good sandwich. Really liked it. All right, so my beer tacos are out. Um, I got it with the, the ground beef, which is supposed to be like a Wagyu ground beef. It does have some pickled onions on the side, and it comes with this uh, amazing dipping sauce. I think another dish that might be pretty messy. I don't know what's with me and messy dishes, so. Um, get you a little bit of a close-up on this taco real quick. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that steam hot coming out of there. Um, I, again, got it without the onions. The onions are raw on here, but there's also cilantro, so I think what I'm gonna do is take a bite, see what it tastes like, and then dip it in the sauce right after that. Oh, look at this. Looks great. That ground beef is really, really good, and it looks like, I you know I have a couple tortillas on here, and they kind of layered some cheese in there too, which is really nice. That's where the cheese is gonna come in. Uh, the flavors of the meat is, is awesome. And I don't even know if I wanna dip this. Mm. Definitely messy, but that really, really tastes amazing. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with a little lime here. Again, they gave me lime, gotta use it. That lime. Go for another bite. Mm. Yeah, it's really, really good. I haven't had tacos in a while like this, and this is really hitting the spot. All right, time for the dunk. Ooh. Try and make it so that nothing comes out. That's some really good flavor there. Um, mixed with the, the, the juices of the beef, kind of gives it more savory note to it. Kind of hard to explain exactly what I'm getting. Um, but it's got a little, a little more flavor, saltiness maybe in there. Um, ah. Do it one more time. Let this thing take a bath. I don't know if I just pick messy food or that's how it is, but I'm gonna need quite a few napkins by the time I'm done here. All right, we're gonna finish this off and um, we'll talk a little bit about my experience when we're done here. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll be back soon. Pretty awesome. Um, the tacos did fall apart a little bit. Uh, I think a lot of the juices really kind of make that tortilla pretty um, weak, if you will. Is that the right word? Um, so, you know, you don't get um, the structure, you know, with that. But again, I'm eating over a plate. I'm not above grabbing a fork and just cleaning up after I'm done, so. Definitely not a problem. I thought the torta was great, tasted amazing. Um, admittedly not the biggest fan that, like, even though they dipped it in a sauce, um, it was all over my hands. So it really made it kind of messy. But from a flavor standpoint, it was great. Now, some people will say, um, if you gotta take a shower after you're done eating, it was a good meal. I don't necessarily have to take a shower quite yet, but uh, it got pretty close there. And the tacos were also really, really good. Um, like I said, double shell, cheese on the ends, uh, in between the shells, and great flavor on that meat. So I think overall, I really enjoyed it. All right, so let's talk a little bit about prices. So the torta of the week was $16, roughly. Um, and then the tacos were $17. And then $3 for the soda. So definitely not a cheap endeavor. Um, but really, really good. Now again, on a typical day, I'm not ordering multiple items like that. So, you know, as we start to think about again, what is a standard uh, price for an entree? It definitely falls under that 15 to $20. 
Now, you're only getting the tacos or you're only getting um, the torta for that price. And I think you can add like beans and rice to really kind of round out that uh, meal for a couple dollars more. So definitely a little bit on the higher end. But it's also, I feel, higher end quality from a food perspective. Uh, so I find that like, yes, this is a place that is a little bit on the higher price side. You definitely get what you pay for here. So I have no problems coming in here, supporting them. So overall, really, really like this place. Um, not some place I would probably come to on a weekly basis because it's a little bit higher from a price point standpoint that I would like to pay. But definitely, if I'm having hankering for some tacos, I'll be coming back here. Um, Daily Taco and Cantina, Deansville, Wisconsin. If you're in the area, check them out. I don't think you'll be sorry. Uh, they do have a full bar. Uh, I'm only drinking a Diet Coke because I don't uh, drink too much in the middle of the day. But all right, guys, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Until next time, peace out.